Hey guys, um, real quick I just want to go over how to do video analysis of uh, any kind of new skill you're trying to learn. Alright, let's say this for this particular one is a Webster, um, running Webster, and we're going to go through kind of how you, if you want, pretty much what I always do, let's just put it this way. If I want to get really good at a skill, I look at somebody's skill that I think is obviously really, really good, then what I do is if they have a video of it, you know, like I download it, whatever like that. And then I take video of myself from several different angles. And then I compare what their body's doing to mine. The thing you have to do is you have to segment the body up and focus on a couple of things. You have to th look at their um, shape that they get into. Okay, shape is important. You want to look at what each limb is doing individually. You want to look at um, the timing they're doing everything at and you want to look at the angle in which they jump off the ground okay um, and then everything else changes based on the, the, the skill alone so let's take a look real quick I want you to look at um, we're going to look at three different examples we're going to look at um, Andre Katozzi's Webster because this is amazing we're going to look at this random video I found of this guy doing kind of his first Webster which is really crappy but you know props to him everyone has to start somewhere then we're going to look at my Webster and we're going to kind of compare the differences so real quick okay real quick let's look at uh, Andre Katozzi's Webster real quick here so okay we want to learn oh his, his Webster is so amazing let's take a look at it okay right here this is a tutorial I recommend you go online and watch it okay so okay let's just say all I'm going to do this time is just look at his uh, right arm okay I already noticed that when he's starting out his right arm is back okay he's swinging it backward alright cool okay I saw him kind of slightly swing it forward and then he pulled it through. Let's let's watch that a little slower there. Okay, so he's here. Digs it right there and through and back. Okay, so I saw him do that. Now I'm going to watch his other arm. Okay, so now we're watching his left arm right there. Okay, and his left arm pulls up. Okay, it's pulling over the top and back. Uh, so it's kind of helping him with a little bit of rotation. I can see that. Okay. Let's see what it does the rest of it. Alright, so he just swings it back with it. So he has this little kind of uh, like as if you're walking normally and your arms swing from one side to the other. He has a little bit of a relaxed position of that, then he f kind of swings them through. Let's watch the rest of his body. Let me watch his right leg now, okay? His right leg, it looks like he's pre preparing for jump, for jumping. Ah, right there pushing straight down, straight down, okay? He's not leaning forward or anything like that. Legs extended all the way through, so you get maximum jump, okay? Midway, his knee, his leg is slightly bending, but then he straightens it out toward the end, and then steps out, swings it down, okay? So that was that leg. Let's look at the other leg, okay? Let's look at the back leg. So he's, prep he's preparing to step off his right leg, his left leg is slightly pushing down. Ah, there we go. It swings straight up. Okay, no bend in the leg yet. Okay, he doesn't even bend it until he's upside down. All right, so he kept le leg straight. Pretty much, he kicked it as far as he can through the motion as he could. Now he's upside down. Okay, then at the end he extends it down to the floor again. Okay, so I saw all that there. Now I'm gonna look at um, the the overall. Uh, what what? Let's see. Let's think his weight displacement. Okay. So now we're going to see that again. So right here. Okay, right now he's leaning kind of full. He's leaning forward, pretty much parallel to the ground right there. Uh, that's going to help him whip over. I see that. Okay, right here. Now what I'm seeing is that his hips are getting really high over his shoulders. That means he has to jump significantly high to get his hips over the top there, and it's making him change his center weight so that he gets higher up over the top. So there's that. Okay. Um, still looking at, uh, well I can see right now he's actually kind of sideways. He's not going 100% forward, okay? So that's important to think about because if you go 100% forward, it's harder to split your legs apart. It's easier to split them apart if they're slightly to the side actually. Okay, at the end he kind of straightens out of it and because his foot is turned out he can turn it forward again. So I just noticed all those things. Let's look at one more thing. Let's look at his head. Okay, so right here Ah, that's the beginning of this tutorial, about the end. So right here, okay? He's looking down, but he's also looking forward. 
and then right here he tucks his head in after he takes off so his head was forward and after he took off he dropped his head so he didn't drop his head until after he took off okay that's a great Webster okay now let's look at Joe Schmo's Webster um, right here and here he comes so he's up his legs aren't that far apart for uh, a good lunge like uh, Andre did both his arms are up okay um, and he's looking straight down let's go a little farther all right now so he got into a better lunge there okay that's good his arms are still up his back leg is bent a lot right now you want to try and fix that okay right here is where the problem starts his hip is really far forward past his foot that's gonna make him fly forward and he's already uh, coming down right here. His back leg isn't really straight to extend. It should be at least as straight as his, where his back is. It should be a line right there at least. Okay, right here, see still, he started kind of pushing back a little bit, but if that leg was straighter, it'd build more torque. He's starting to fly forward now. His leg didn't, it extended mostly, but not fully extend. Both his arms are swinging down. Okay, mid flip, he's already falling down. He hasn't really tucked his shape in or anything like that. He hasn't pulled his leg to his chest which would really help the speed of his rotation and then because of that he drops down really low alright so let's just say that is that and then let's look at mine real quick okay this is from a couple different angles alright this is it in fast motion okay now let's look at in slow motion right here alright uh, can I zoom in? no I can't alright so right here uh, my left leg I'm going to be, I slightly, I get my right arm prepared to really swing up and over. Let's just watch my right arm only, okay? Up and over the top, it really helps to pull my body through. Watch from the back, okay? Watch my right arm. Pulls myself up and over, okay? One more time, right here. Pulls me up and over, so I'm really using that to help swing me over the top. Um, let's take a look at my, uh, my leg. Okay, all right, leg. Uh, right, boom, okay, I get it as far up as I can. I bend it only after I take off the ground and then extend it back to the floor again. Watch from here, stand up, then pull it in over the top and land, okay? Uh, let's look at the other leg, the pushing leg. too far almost there okay right here so right here uh, this is kind of blurry but you can see where my hip and foot are at okay ah that's what I wanted my hip is straight over the top of my foot that's good that means I'm not gonna go flying forward okay most of my flip and I end up landing about mm, half a body length uh, from where I took off that's good in my opinion okay um, let's take a look at my other arm. So, the one that is not swinging super, super hard. Okay? It's just kind of relaxed, little swing downward, not very big. Okay? I grab a hold. I grab because it makes me have a tighter shape and pulls everything into closer to my body. Andrew doesn't grab because he has the ability to do that. Alright, so that's kind of analyzing that, breaking it down. You can do this with anything. I'm going to do it with a lot of other things as well. Okay? Like, I'm going to start. I'm going to start to do it with um, all my moves pretty much and we'll analyze them next to other, next to other things and see how they compare. Um, anyway, that's it for now. You can see that if you also write all this stuff down exactly like you just take something and scratch paper, draw, you know, a head and a stick figure kind of thing and you can say, okay, right arm does this, left arm does that, right foot does that, left foot does that is doing this okay and doing it from three different angles but really videotape yourself and uh, analyze it next to other people in slow motion if you can uh, I'm sure there's some free uh, free source slow motion um, software out there on the internet you can use uh, but that's a really great way to kind of analyze your movement and it really goes a long way um, as far as teaching yourself how to do stuff anyway I'm done talking now um, I'll put throw more of these up there with analyzations in my vlog and stuff like that a bit later um, yeah, uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.